you know, commercial fishing is still the most dangerous profession in the, in the United States, even on the Great Lakes, because you think back from 1985, there's been nine deaths just on Lake Michigan. Three on the Searcher, three on the Razzle Brothers, three on the Linda E. There hasn't been nine yeah. cops that have been killed that are on the Great Lakes. Yeah. And, then, you know, and far from it, there's... You can't name any other profession that hits that many fatalities since, you know... Not with the small number there is involved. I watch Deadliest Catch all the time, and uh, it's dramatized to me, to the point of being ridiculous when you've been on the water your whole life, you know. Uh, They're ice-breaking up there, I'd rather... With the Leland, I'd have run circles around there. I should have sold that thing and told them I'll come up there and I'll keep your harbor wide open for. Them. For you, they're screwing around in six inches of, of pancake ice. Yeah, that's broke up and they're all nervous and sending guys down under the deck to see if the, pl- the, the plates are still holding on. <laughs> Well, Christ, we just give her more and drive her up higher. Christ, we had a big fight up there. Oh, the, the DNR says, uh, uh, when they call the state police down there, smashed all the windows out of their fucking cars and out the lights out. Mm. He says, don't call us anymore, call it uh, National Guards. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was up there at the time. Uh, when then the governor, and this is, the governor, there's a sat me cross, and that's about five miles before you get into Fairport. The governor, had uh, told the DNR, you can't go back down the fair. Uh, you couldn't come down the fair airport. Because uh, uh, he said somebody's going to get killed down there yet. Anybody get shot up there in that conflict? Or? No. No, but I know that they, the wardens, they, they still don't like to go down there. No, they, they, they don't. I mean, you know, they're outlawed. They can only go as far as that big cross. And now it's all Indians. I think there's only one white. You know that pilot house way up in the high air, you know, and she'd roll like this, you know. When Schweig had it, he, he filled the, uh, the hull up, inside the hull with cement. It was more stable, but it was lower in the water, and it had uh, scuppers on the deck. They were all up in the pilot house on the way in, and it had like a galley. That big pilot house had like a galley with a booth in it. He went down the, the stairs there, and he said the, the deck was just full of water. Of course, that made her heavier, and they had a bilge pump, but that was in the, the bilge pump. And they, they tried, you know, stopping up them scuppers, yeah. but uh, they just couldn't get it all, you know. They were...
Yeah.